Oh. Is this the... Oh no, I was like, wait a second. Nope. Yep, yep. This is Thane's gun. Pretty sure. Uh, but I am very fond of this code for you. What have I, what have I been using? Have I not? Oh, I think I was using the Predator just because... Was I? What? Why was I doing that, honestly? I mean, I, okay, I do know the Scorpion can be a bit of a pain. The reliable damage of the Predator was, was necessary, but... I'm gonna go back with the Scorpion. None of these guys use... Okay. <laughs> Shepard, some luck. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. I'm surprised the Krogan didn't They're destroy this. Here. At last, the Reaper. I just. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. It's a good thing Reapers have Stormtrooper aim. Everyone all right? I made it work. Did we get yeah, well. I raised the hammers. Yep. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. I just... I don't know what you want from me. No, oh. I've never done them. I remember this part. Oops. I remember him saying that. I remember this part. Dodging the laser. Yeah, it's not going to last too long. Ah, uh. uh, da 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 da! The Turians! I knew they wouldn't give up. But all they had to do was back up for a bit and then come back. Like, that was what I wanted them to do in the first place. Up on our left, one of the hammers. Uh, yeah, I am, I'm aware. Another man. Yeah. Uh, no. Do I have? This is crazy. I think the Reaper just stepped on me. Please. I think it. What is behind me right now? <laughs> Did another one just like freaking land on me? Need to keep doing this if I can. I can't. I can't do it. There's too many of them. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't see any I'm health kits around. Me. I am sad. Right. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Stop! I swear I got killed by it stepping on me before. I swear I, I have vague recollections of that now. But maybe I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> but I swear I have been stepped on and killed by it before. That. 
but earlier it was saying you right click to aim, and now it's saying I can charge it, which doesn't make sense. I know, I'm trying to find more ammo. <laughs> I'm so peeved. I can't put that! No, that was really dumb. That's super dumb. Here we go, baby. Here she comes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <He's so cool. laughs> we just need to make more of her. And I really love the idea of it being like, like a organic versus machine, you know, like, like, and she's like the spirit of Tuchanka, like fighting this reaper, you know, like it's such a metaphor, but it's really cool too to see just, it's like, uh, it's like Pacific Rim. <laughs> Big old things hitting each other, beating each other up. To be fair, I don't think she could take on like a sovereign class, but she uh she munched that one pretty well. Oh, because it got hit. Minutes, but E dead. What happened? Yeah. Stress sampling, too intense. Too much trauma. Wanted to stop. She refused. Her decision. She did it for her people. Female was stabilizing force for Krogan. Would have helped Rex rally more fans in support. Damn! Control room atop of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Come on, Morton, man. No. Shepard, please. Need to do this. Need to see it through for her. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Man.
everybody dying a hero. Sure is nice in theory, but... our greatest enemy with rare valor. In death, she has proven a savior to her people. May her courage fan the flames of hope for the future. She is now the true mother of T'Changa. She really is. She was everything I want the Krogan to be. I hope we follow her example. <sighs> Two whammies. Tell you what. Not only did you lose Morden, one of the most interesting characters ever written, and truly uh a friend and a good man, you know, but you lose Eve, who that one just like I don't know, didn't you know, know her as long, but it hits really hard. I don't know, as like a, I guess as a woman, I don't know. I think that's probably what I would say, but that might be kind of a shallower. I don't know, not shall. I don't know. It might not be the whole thing, but it's just she was she was what she needed her people to be. She was strong. Despite her suffering, she took her suffering and turned it into strength and did did what she needed to do even when it was meant sacrificing herself and when all she wanted was to be a mother. And to see her people rise again as like the truly as what they truly were capable of, not just like mindless violence, but I don't know, I feel like we missed some stuff potentially with her. If we did, I feel really bad. Besides the fact that if she stays alive, you can talk to her. And every time I replay this, this, this version, this shepherd to try to, you know, kind of recreate how I originally did it, this is how I originally did it, despite it being tragic because I could if I had if I had not destroyed mainland's data she would still be alive um but I don't know I feel like making like the totally 100% everything's perfect and fine playthrough isn't necessarily the best way to play like if you want to do that like sure sometimes you know what I'm like I need like <laughs> I need a happy ending you know like I need a 100% happy ending you know um but I don't mind keeping in some some moments where it's like because of the decision I made, this is one of this was one of this shepherd's for me big arcs, was like realizing that like destroying that data was had massive consequences, and that like while she may have been undecided about the Krogan stuff initially, like I was, like the further you get on, the more you realize it's like what right do I have to make those calls, you know? This is a whole species, you know, and then to make it not just about a species, but to make it about one individual woman who was everything her people needed. And, like, another powerful woman figure that was just, like, really inspirational in a way. Like, I realize I'm being very emotional about this, but, like, yeah, I don't know. She was a, she was supremely well written. And it was so cool to get, like, the Krogan woman side of things. So... Yeah, anyway. Hopefully I don't go too long on this. Oh well. I uh, know this is, if you're still here after all this time, this is what you get and you know it. She died because of a decision I made. Malin's research might have saved her. I know if you had a chance to do it again, things could be different. But you can't dwell on the past, Shepard. You can only shape the future. And you just gave us that today. 
Too bad about Morton, though. Yeah. His death is... I don't know, just the seashell thing, and if I had got, you know, it had to be me type thing. I don't know. I always, I just really like Morden a lot. I'm bad at articulating why I like char like certain characters, but like, I like all of them in these games, but like, Morden was, I don't know, I think somebody that I would like to be like in some ways, I guess you could look at. A very interesting scientist, like, just like a good guy all around. I don't know. I'm gonna, I don't have good words for it. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the Primarch I'll be deploying troops to Palavin immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. The Krogan, a Krogan with a, with a, with a Solarian name would definitely be interesting. There's a lot of loss in this one. You lose Morden no matter what, but Eve doesn't have to die. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage. I never thought I'd see the day. And the Rex shroud broke, to help too. The Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Hack we probably out. would have done the the deception thing, but man. That does seem too high to me. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I was thinking of something, um, in Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, every, like, group has, like, their own, like, special sayings of, like, you know, walk in the light or whatever, walk, a, walk with flowers under your feet or whatever, depending on, like, what sort of environment they were raised in, like, culturally. Um, and I just realized, like, not just realized, but, like, I have noticed before, but it's kind of coming together with those games now, too, where, like, the aliens use a lot of human phrases, which to be fair, some people say is like a result of the translator, because everybody's got like a universal translator on. Um, and so like it's just translating it to your own language idioms. Um, but, and I know some of them intentionally use like human phrases or like to be funny or whatever, but like I do wish we had a bit more of like individualized sayings for like how people like, cause you kind of, you would have like different like sort of fair folk tale stories associated maybe or like different phrases from like how you were growing up it'd be cool if we had more of that i'm glad we can help each other out it's the only way we're going to defeat the reapers that much is certain to that end several dry dock ships are ready to help build the crucible garris will coordinate them yes sir and when the time comes to deploy it the full measure of our fleet will be there for earth May the spirits watch over us all. Okay, there's one. You do get some. I'll and like when the Turian support right away, Shepard. Oh, here we go. Exhausted. Morden dying. It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yep. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. Couldn't do this without Garrus Vicarian. I don't care what the command structure is. He's my second in command. And I love that it, the game acknowledges that. Like, it... That Garrus, that the game has Garrus acknowledge that, like, you are emotionally and physically distraught. And I just love that Shepard says, I sleep when I'm dead. Oh good, everybody's gonna haunt me now. That child still runs like an automaton. There's 
like so many people shepherd saving, but like there's so many that she can't, especially the ones close to her. I think that would be very difficult. And even then, it's like you save one person today or a group of people. Who's to say what happens the next day, you know? I feel like she's she's dealing with this. This is this is the PTSD she's dealing with. This is the manifestation. open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who weren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Uh, I mean, I wasn't thinking about Ashley, Ashley but okay. Vermeer. She gave her life stopping Sovereign. I wonder what she'd make of fighting a whole fleet of Reapers. If I had to guess, Ashley would call it target practice. Yeah. Sounds like her. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let yeah, me guess. I want to talk to her. He called the calm room. The oh, the must counselor. Be crucible, seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Can I hang up on him? Jeez, I freaking this. I've been recording for an Commander, hour. There is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made no? my decision, counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... What? You gonna come for me? I'm humanity's representative, Counselor Rudina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. Why yeah, bring this talk. to me? What's Citadel security on it? You are a human and relatively neutral, probably. <laughs> what? No one from no through... Well, let's not speak of it now. Come to the Citadel and grant me a moment of your time. You may find it interesting. Valor out. After you just threatened me? <laughs> That's nice. I've been recording for an hour. <laughs> um, but yeah. There we go. Oh, there, there is a lot that's about to go down now. Um, and I am... Whew, I don't know if I should take a break or what, but that's when I first played this game, I didn't take a break, and it was like emotional after emotional after emotional, like, incident, and it was just, it was brutal, man. It's brutal. And it really put me in Shepard's shoes, honestly. But thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, so to especially Riscalito, my staffing tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron, who I super appreciate your support. You're the super bestest. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra awesome shout out to my forest tier patron, Christopher, who is just wonderful and amazing and just incredibly supportive and i very much appreciate it so thank you all again so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one